Hi, so this is the uh, second on the uh, playlist where we're dealing with manipulating decimals. So what we've usually got in these types of questions is we're given a piece of information. The piece of information would be something like 97 times 123 equals 11,931. Yeah, I'm sure it does. And if you really wanted to do some long multiplication or use a calculator, I'm sure that you could check that for yourself. And the main gist of the question is actually to use this information and then also to answer some other questions which usually involve moving the decimal point. So what we've got is something like 9.7 times 12.3 and also 0 0.97 times 123,000. Okay, and they want to know the answers to those. And also, um, 11.931 divided by 9.7. Okay, and um, it's using this piece of information to answer those questions just by moving the decimal point. And so the idea really is that you actually write down the answer. Okay. Well, um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can actually just simply move the decimal point. So at the moment, the decimal point on these, this, this information that we're given, is at the end. So it's 97 with a decimal point, 123 with a decimal point afterwards. But the first question, has the decimal point moved once? This 9.7 is from 97. And again, 123 has become 12.3, so it's actually moved it twice. So to answer this question, you would just simply move the decimal point at this answer, on this answer, twice. So it would become 119.31, because we've gone from here and then we've moved it once, twice, so it becomes 119.31. Okay. Um, if you want to do it that way, that's perfectly fine, and I, I suggest that is a really good way of doing it. But one of the things that I think is just a useful tip is to look at the question and just get a very, very rough estimate of what you think the answer will be. Uh, and really the whole exercise is to determine um, where the decimal point will fall. Don't worry too much about the individual numbers themselves. Um, what I mean by that is that this 9.7, this 12.3, is pretty close to 10 times 12, isn't it? So 9.7 is pretty close to 10, and 12.3 is pretty close to 12. Well, 10 times 12 is actually 120. So I'd be expecting my answer to be very close to 120, and 119.31, there you go, it's not too bad. I would generally tend to do the same thing with this as well, because what I've got here, I've got 0 0.97, well that's pretty close to 1. 0 0.97 is really close to 1, um, so it's 1 times 123 thousand which is going to be a hundred and twenty three thousand well if it's hundred and twenty three thousand then my answer is going to be a hundred and nineteen thousand three hundred and ten if you want you could actually move the decimal point two places this way um, to get that and then move the decimal point three places that way and eventually it will net out at one decimal point and that's absolutely fine but my suggestion is is if you've got a rough idea in your mind as to what it will be it generally tends to work quite well as it would with these now this is where it's just a little bit tricky and this is what will make the difference between um, maybe let's say a D grade question and a C grade question and the difference here is that we've got 11.9 um, which is Oh, I know, fairly close to 10, uh, if you like. And it's divided by 10 again. Well, 10 divided by 10 is going to be 1. So I would expect my answer to be very close to 1. And actually, I would, it would be uh, 1.23. Okay. Because now we're dividing 
we need to use this piece of information here in much the same way as if we were manipulating a number, let's say 6 times 7 equals 42. Well, 40, that's the same as saying, or we could say that 6 equals 42 divided by 7. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. The tip on this particular video is all about really getting an indication, a very rough idea of where you think the answer is going to be and then making sure that you use the correct digits. I hope that's been okay for you. It is roundabout level C at GCSE. Uh, please do subscribe to the site. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, have a look at the rest of the playlist and there's some more examples and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.